Yo, what is going on, Fantasy Addicts? I'm your host, That Fantasy Addict. And now, after we have done 12 team PPR mock drafts from the first all the way to the 11th overall pick, we are finally at the 12th overall pick at the very, very end. We started out with the first overall pick. Now, we're ending with the 12th overall pick. Shout out to all of you guys who have seen every single previous 12 team PPR mock draft that I have put out. If you're one of those people, let me know in the comments below by typing in hashtag trooper because any of you guys who have watched all of these videos are seriously a trooper and I appreciate all of you guys. If you are new here, I put out fantasy football content almost every single day and I do also upload twice a day on some days as well. So if you're interested in any of that content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's get right into the draft. We are doing this draft on Sleeper, so if you'd like to check them out, feel free to click the link in the description below. I'm not sponsored by them. I just enjoy doing my mock drafts on Sleeper because their ADPs are pretty good. So Christian McCaffrey first overall, followed by Saquon, Zeke, Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Derek Henry, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, Devontae Adams, Nick Chubb, and Kenyon Drake. Very, very standard mock draft for the first round. That's about how it normally goes. Now it's our pick, and the first thing I see is Miles Sanders and Josh Jacobs are both there. I don't really want to do the same thing that I did with my last draft, but we might have to. We'll see how this turns out. So we could go with that, or we could go with one of them and go with Tyreek Hill here. But I know that I have done that in a mock draft before, I believe. So what we might do instead is, since we have done Tyreek Hill and either Josh Jacobs or Miles Sanders in one draft, and we've done Josh Jacobs and Miles Sanders in one draft, we'll just do whichever one we prefer for this draft. And I prefer going Jacobs and Miles Sanders. So we're gonna go with both of them. I probably prefer Miles Sanders, but they're really, really close in my rankings, so it doesn't really matter which one you take if you can only get one of them. But right now, I like Miles Sanders more in full PPR. Then DeAndre Hopkins goes, followed by Tyreek Hill, Julio Jones, Austin Eckler, Pat Mahomes, Aaron Jones, Chris Godwin, Travis Kelsey, Adam Thielen, Lamar Jackson, George Kittle, Kenny Galladay, CEH, Le'Veon Bell, Leonard Fournette, Allen Robinson, Todd Gurley, James Conner, Mike Evans, David Johnson, Chris Carson, and Melvin Gordon. Looking at the running backs available, there's no one who I really like here, so time to pivot to the wide receiver position. I see that Juju is available, along with all of the guys, a few rankings below, like DJ Moore, Cooper Cup, Ridley, although I have them in the same tier as Juju. And at tight end, we also have Mark Andrews. So... I could go either way here. I could go with Mark Andrews and one of these receivers, or I could go with two receivers here. So if I didn't take Miles Sanders and Josh Jacobs, maybe I'd go with Mark Andrews. But since I did, I don't want to make this draft super similar to my last draft because in my last draft, I believe I went Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs, DJ Moore, Mark Andrews. I don't want to do that again so we're gonna go with two receivers and the receivers i like here are dj moore and juju if you want to go cup or ridley feel free to do that as well but i like juju and dj moore here i think they're both obviously ppr monsters are gonna get a ton of targets no doubt about it dj moore was great last season and christian mccaffrey took so many targets away and yes he'll probably do the same again this season but I doubt that he has a more productive season than he had last season. And Juju, last season, he played through a few injuries, and he did not play with Big Ben. We know what he can do with Big Ben. Yes, Antonio Brown was there previously, but it never really hurts to be the wide receiver one. Anyone who says, oh, the coverage is going to be tougher on him, sure, that is a factor, but you never hear someone complaining that a wide receiver is now the wide receiver one on the team instead of the wide receiver two. So I think Juju should be fine. I'm not saying that he'll be as good as he was two seasons ago, but he should definitely be a good receiver. After we took those two studs at the wide receiver position, 
we see a few more receivers go in a row. Amari Cooper, OBJ, and Cooper Cup. Then Mark Ingram, Jonathan Taylor, Ridley, Robert Woods, Kareem Hunt, Mark Andrews, David Montgomery, Singletary, Metcalf, DeAndre Swift, T.Y. Hilton, A.J. Brown, Zach Ertz, D.J. Shark, Cortland Sutton, Keenan Allen, Raheem Mostert, Cam Akers, and Dak. So, first thing I see, Terry McLaurin. I really, really like him. Tight end, we have Darren Waller, so we could go with him there. At running back, we have Darius Geis. But what I'm going to do is, obviously I can't go running back zero at this point because we already took two running backs. But what I want to try is, yes, taking running backs in the first two rounds, but then not really taking many running backs after that. So, yes, you could say, oh, I took two running backs in the first two rounds, so that's clearly running back heavy. That's true, but with my next two picks, if I don't take a running back, I would not consider that running back heavy at all. In the first six rounds, if I take two running backs, that is not running back heavy in my book. And I think we're going to try that. Normally, I would take Darius Geis with one of these picks here, but we're going to test something out. We're going to not take Darius Geis and see what we can do elsewhere. So, quarterback, Kyler Murray is there. I do think that, as we saw from last video, we know that you can construct a very good team with Kyler Murray. Terry McLaurin is available. I like him, and Darren Waller is there. But, you know what? I'm going to fill up our flex position, so we'll take Terry McLaurin here. He is going to be our flex. And at quarterback, I'm debating whether or not we should take Kyler. It's either Kyler or Waller. And you know what? We took Kyler with our sixth round pick in our last draft. So we're going to actually go with Waller here and see what we can do here. So now we have a very versatile team here with many different positions on our roster. Then Tyler Lockett goes, followed by Kyler, Russell Wilson, James White, Hollywood Brown, Deshaun Watson, Ronald Jones, Damian Williams, Stephon Diggs, A.J. Green, Edelman, Matt Ryan, Jarvis Landry, three quarterbacks in a row, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, three great quarterbacks all in the same era, Devontae Parker, Darius Geis, Brandon Cooks, and then three tight ends go, Gronk, Evan Ingram, and Hayden Hurst. So... Let's look at the running backs because there are two guys who I like here, Dobbins and Coleman. Now that Raheem Mostert has requested a trade, Coleman is a fairly good option. At quarterback, we have Allen, Wentz, and Stafford. We'll have to take one, so we'll definitely go take a look into them. Then at tight end, we don't really need any of them because we already have Waller. Wide receiver, I like Boyd. I like Gallup. I like Gallup the most here. So it's really tough, but even though I like Gallup, I already have three wide receivers, so we're going to go with the running back. And sure, I didn't go super, super wide receiver and tight end heavy, and I didn't completely fade the running back position, but this is about as much as you can fade the running back position without building a bad team. So we're going to go with the running back here. And since I already have two really good running backs, Miles Sanders and Josh Jacobs, I just want a safe running back who, in case one of them goes down, I know that they can step in and do pretty well. And for me, that is J.K. Dobbins, so we'll take him there. At quarterback, Josh Allen, Carson Wentz, Matt Stafford. I'd prefer Josh Allen. He likes to throw long, but he wasn't very good at it, except for when he was targeting John Brown. Now he has Stephon Diggs, one of the premier deep threats in the league, so we'll go with Josh Allen. I like him this season. Then Jordan Howard goes, followed by Tevin Coleman, Michael Gallup, Deontay Johnson, Keyshawn Vaughn, Sony Michelle, Tyler Boyd, Tariq Cohen, Matt Breida, Higby, Debo Samuel, Alexander Madison, Carrion Johnson, Marlon Mack, Will Fuller, Hunter Henry, Marvin Jones, Philip Lindsay, CeeDee Lamb, Emmanuel Sanders, and Latavius Murray. Excuse me. He's not the last one because Darius Slayton is the last player. So, to be honest, I could have waited for Carson Wentz or Stafford. I probably should have, but many times they are gone by the end of the ninth round. So I just wanted to play it safe and take Josh Allen. Mistake on my end, looking back at it, but it's not that much of a concern because we still got the running back who we like in J.K. Dobbins. So looking around, there's not anyone who I really like. No one at tight end. At wide receiver, McCole Hardman isn't a bad option. 
I think Crowder's okay. Rieger's okay. At running back, Zach Moss, Antonio Gibson, they're all pretty good options. We already took a quarterback, so we don't need we don't need one there. So it's really tough. We have three wide receivers, I believe. Yeah, we have three wide receivers, so we could go with one there. I'm debating on whether or not we should take another one, though, because if I wait another round, Rieger might be there. Probably not, but he could be there. But at the very worst, I get Nikhil Harry or Pittman. So you know what? I think I'm going to go with two running backs here. And looking around, the guys I like the most are Zach Moss and Antonio Gibson. They're both going to get playing time no matter what. But if Devin Singletary goes down, Zach Moss is huge. If Darius Geis goes down, Antonio Gibson is huge. So we're going to go with both of them. There's a good chance one of them is an RB2 for a few weeks due to an injury to a teammate. So we take them. Then McCole Hardman goes, followed by Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, Baltimore defense, Carson Wentz, Jared Cook, Matt Stafford, San Francisco defense, Noah Fant, Jamison Crowder, Cam Newton, Chase Edmonds, Christian Kirk, Chicago defense, Tony Pollard, Pittsburgh defense, Henderson, New England defense, Austin Hooper, Buffalo defense, Rieger, and Justin Jackson. So let's take a look at our roster. We already have the quarterback who we like, Josh Allen, Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs, J.K. Dobbins, Zach Moss, and Antonio Gibson. We have two really good running backs. Then the rest are kind of iffy for our third, fourth, and fifth running back, but we do have a good tight end, and we have three good receivers, but it could be time to look for another receiver. And did Nikhil Harry get taken? Oh, no, he, no, he's still there. So we'll probably take him here. And Duke Johnson is available, who I very much like. So if David Johnson goes down, Duke Johnson is an RB2 for all those weeks. So now we'll have him, Zach Moss, and Antonio Gibson and I'm sure that one of them will be a starter for a few weeks due to an injury. So I like what I'm doing here. So we'll have Duke Johnson, and then we'll take Nikhil Harry as our fourth receiver. Then after we take both of them, Justin Jefferson goes, followed by Daniel Jones, Naheem Hines, Big Ben, Sterling Shepard, Joe Burrow, Anthony Miller, Sammy Watkins, Boston Scott, John Brown, Deshaun Jackson, Michael Pittman, LA Chargers defense, Baker, Justin Tucker, Anthony McFarland, TJ Hawkinson, Brandon Ayuk, Preston Williams, Mike Jusecki, Minnesota defense, and Drew Locke. And now it is our pick once again. So a lot of people might want me to take a wide receiver here, but first of all, there's not anyone who I really like. At running back, same thing. Not anyone who I really like, but tight end. I think drafting a backup tight end is super, super important this season. Because even if you're drafting Travis Kelsey, a backup tight end is necessary, this season at least. Not necessary, but very, very reasonable because there's so many good backups. And yes, normally you don't take a backup if you have Travis Kelsey because unless he gets injured, you can just get a tight end for one week and put him in for that one week and you're fine. But this season, there are tight ends who I really like in the late rounds who could legitimately become tight end ones and who could be very good trade bait. So I think that it's worth it taking a backup tight end this season. Guys like Jonu Smith, Dallas Goddard, Blake Jarwin, all these guys are very good in my opinion. I like Dallas Goddard, especially because we have Darren Waller, who is risky in my opinion, especially because we have Josh Jacobs as well. So I want to take a safe player, and I think that's definitely Dallas Goddard. Eagles run more two tight end sets than any other team. So Dallas Goddard will always get targets, but if Zach Ertz goes down, as we all know, Dallas Goddard is going to be a top five tight end. So we will take him there. And then now we just have a defense and a kicker to draft. So we'll take a look at defense first, and you can really go with anyone here. I don't like to give huge breakdowns on defenses, but I believe that we went with the Saints defense last draft, and I'm going to do that again because... I think that they're a pretty good defense. They're the better defense on paper. And yeah, I, I think that they're the better defense and they're just a little safer than the Seahawks defense, in my opinion. It's no longer the Legion of Boom. They have fallen off for sure on the defensive side. 
Then we have Harrison Butker, followed by Greg Zerline, Will Lutz, Robbie Gould, Johnu Smith, Kansas City defense, Young Hoku, Jarek McKinnon, Zane Gonzalez, Jake Elliott, Miami defense, Matt Prater, Damian Harris, A.J. Dillon, Jared Goff, Carlos Hyde, Fairbairn, Mason Crosby, Phillip Rivers, Jamal Williams, Jack Doyle, and Tampa Bay defense. So it's our time to draft a kicker, and I drafted him many times, and I'm going to do it again. Matt Gay is a pretty good kicker, and he is on a Tom Brady-led offense, which has always played to Steven Goskowski's favor. Matt Gay is a good kicker. He's not just going to start missing field goals all of a sudden, and now he's on an offense that should be scoring a lot and have a pretty fast-paced offense, so we'll take Matt Gay here. He is the Mr. Irrelevant of this draft, but to be honest, I think that he won't be so irrelevant this season. I think that he is definitely going to be a top 10 kicker. So before we end the video, let's take a look at our team and do a quick recap here. At QB, Josh Allen, not great in real life, but very, very good in fantasy. I like him. Miles Sanders, Josh Jacobs, two great sophomore running backs. I love them. They have such a high ceiling and they still have a good floor as well. Juju and DJ Moore, I like them. They are very, very good receivers. PPR monsters, they get a ton of targets, a lot of receptions. Darren Waller, risky tight end. He could be top three, but I feel like there's a chance that last season was a bit of a fluke and he doesn't do great this season, which is why we have Dallas Goddard as our backup tight end. Terry McLaurin in our flex, very, very strong there. I absolutely love that. Terry McLaurin is great. He has chemistry with Dwayne Haskins. Not only did he play with him last season, but they also played together in college at OSU. So that's great. Matt Gay, New Orleans defense, whatever. Kicker and defenses don't matter a ton. Then we have a lot of running back depth here. J.K. Dobbins, Zach Moss, Antonio Gibson, and Duke Johnson. I really like that. And Nikhil Harry as our fourth wide receiver. Very good depth piece right here. So what do I think of this team? I think it's a pretty good team. I would give this team an A-. minus. I think that the starting lineup is great. If Miles Sanders or Josh Jacobs goes down, we're in trouble. But if they don't go down, this is an A team. So I'm giving it an A- minus just to compensate because there's a chance that Sanders or Jacobs goes down. So we find that happy medium with an A-. minus. But we'll see how this team turns out at the end of the season. We'll see how this team would have done. Let's go back to our earlier rounds and see if we made any mistakes in my opinion. So looking at our sixth round pick, I probably would have preferred taking Darius Geis there. And then with our seventh round pick, we could have taken also Dobbins, but also gotten Higby with our eighth round pick because with our ninth round pick, we still could have gotten Wentz or Stafford. So I think that taking Waller was a bit of a mistake. I should have taken Darius Geis. So I guess that just goes to show you guys that in the first six rounds, you have to have at least three running backs. There's no way around it. You just have to do it. So half of your early round picks at least should be running backs. Keep that in mind. As good as Darren Waller could be, Darius Geis should have been taken with my six round pick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to drop a like because it helps me out and it shows your appreciation for the hard work that I do behind the scenes putting these videos together. If you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I put out fantasy football content almost every single day for you guys to enjoy and I don't want you to miss out. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure to go hit the link in the description below to follow me there. I also put out daily content over there and you guys definitely do not want to miss out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you thought of this draft in the comments below. What would you grade this team? Would you give it an A minus like I did? Or would you give it something else? I'm curious to hear what you guys think of this draft that I've constructed. With that being said, guys, I have nothing left to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Peace.